Hello, here's a quick demo of using a stylus with your iPad and your iPhone. Now, there are a few different types of stylus flying around at the moment. Um, one of the most popular ones is from Pogo. Now, this is uh, there's Pogo Sketch, which is a nice looking pen, and this is the cheap model, which is just called Pogo Stylus. Um, this works on the iPhone. It doesn't work on the iPad for some reason. I don't know why. Um, if you have a close look at the tip, you'll see it's kind of made out of this uh, plasticky, uh, almost like a sponge material. Which is kind of it's a bit sort of jaggedy, and um, to be honest, I personally find it a bit tatty looking. Uh, and it's certainly got the potential to uh, to end up being a bit kind of frayed and, uh, and knackered basically it's already coming apart in my hands so I was a bit disappointed with that and I've been looking ever since for something else I did notice one that used like a plastic tip um, I haven't had a go on that one though so I'm not sure what that's like but the Griffin have just released a new pen. Um, when I say just released, I mean I bought this um, a couple of days ago from PC World and I haven't been able to actually find it on the internet afterwards so I'm not sure if I've managed to buy a product that hasn't even been launched yet or whether it's from the future or something, I don't know. But, uh, anyway, Griffin are a big company that do have been doing iPhone utilities and uh, um, accessories sorry for a long time so they're, they're a pretty big company they, they know a thing or two about making really nice hardware for iPhones and, and Macs and iPods and stuff now the tip on this as you can see is a lot nicer it's a kind of rubbery thing so it's yeah it's nice it looks good it's got a nice little clip clips onto your iPad and it works really well with the iPhone and stuff which I'll show you now now the uh, if I open up brushes and we start a new so here's here's something I drew earlier if I, uh, it's difficult to do this one. Oh, now I've got to edit it. So if I, uh, yeah, I'm going to use a bit of brush. And do that. So you can see it does quite a nice line. It's hard to see from this crappy video, but um, it, it does a good job, basically. And then we get to the iPad. And again, it does... Um, it does a very nice job of um, creating a nice line. But with, with the iPhone and the iPad, the only downside is the fact that there's no pressure sensitivity. So, I mean, brushes has a thing where it can get thinner, the line can get thinner the faster you go. But it's not ideal, really. Um, but still, it works well. And it's quite good for things like using Omnigraffle or even just writing you know with brainstorm apps or whiteboard apps it's pretty good but the thing I've found out which is the most intriguing about using styluses um, is that you can use this stylus on your MacBook Pro on the trackpad as well uh, so I'm going to get my iPhone 
and do a follow up video right now to show you. Okay, as promised, here's the second part of the uh, video all about the stylus. And uh, as you can see, there's the pogo stylus there. There, even. And we can get nice and close with the camera here to have a look at the uh, at the tip on that. So you can see that foamy, kind of spongy tip there, compared to the the Griffin, which has this nice looking rubber tip. And there we go with uh, the iPad and the drawing on there. I can demonstrate again for you. There you go. That works quite well. And now we move over to the uh, the MacBook. Now I'm left-handed, so I need to swap my camera hand over here. But uh, what I can show you is first of all that the see I'm drawing on the trackpad here and you can see it can move the mouse around quite happily but to get the actual um, actually using it like a Wacom tablet or something you need to install a piece of software called Inklet which, stop, which puts a little app in your menu bar you can then go and set the workspace I can do now to show you and you then draw your area where you want the trackpad to affect and then when you start in clit it all fades down into a kind of modal state and now when I start drawing on the trackpad I just move the camera here you can see not only have I got really nice drawing action I've also got pressure sensitivity with this pen as well it works really well so this also works with the magic trackpad so if you need that bigger area then you could get one of those and use that like a Wacom tablet or a drawing to any time you know as a replacement for any drawing tablet so there you go the new Griffin stylus I would recommend you go out and buy one if you can find one because uh, I know I couldn't find one on the internet recently Bye-bye.